Well, I'm here to do a lot of things, actually. Uh, as the newly elected chair of the India-EU delegation, uh, I will be here to try to network, of course, since it's been some years uh, since we have traveling, been traveling to your beautiful country as a parliament. Uh, so I'm doing a lot of networking and, uh, and very concretely I'm trying to get us to uh, organize a trip from the European Parliament to your Parliament uh, and to your system here. It, it, takes, some, uh, it takes some organizing, uh, we have some practical obstacles, but I think that uh, my visit here will, uh, will help me solve these issues. I'm quite optimistic actually when it comes to the EU-India relationship because it seems that we have right now a window of opportunity. Uh, since the, the summit in 21, that's to say almost two years ago where uh, your leader Modi actually uh, suggested that we went into new negotiations on the, on the FTA, uh, it seems that uh, we have this moment now uh, and we have to use this momentum in order to actually achieve something. Because uh, one thing is, of course, to have uh, built up our, our new relations and even evolved into a more uh, comprehensive uh, relationship. But the other thing is, of course, to actually achieve something concrete. And that is basically what I hope uh, uh, that will happen now. Uh, on the other hand, we are also pressured for time since uh, we have elections both here in, in, uh, in India and in Europe, in Brussels and in European, European countries because we have elections uh, to the European Parliament also in, in the summer of uh, 24. So we have this moment of opportunity now, but we also have to be aware that now is the things happening, so let's, let's get moving. I think that, uh, as I said, I think we have a, a, a window of opportunity now. I think the FTA has been uh, put to, to, to in the freezer, so to speak, for, for several years now, and uh, since 21 uh, we have a new opportunity. So, but uh, until now we had three rounds of negotiations. Uh, let's just, if I should put it friendly, I would say so far the, the results have been limited, but we are we are we are very in very good conditions. We are the, the, uh, the negotiators like each other, so we have a we have we have a good uh, opportunity now. So now we need uh, for the next rounds of negotiations, that's to say already now here in March when we have the fourth round of negotiations, we have to have some, some more uh, concrete things on the table in order to be able to actually start the negotiations uh, really. So, so uh, I'm looking forward to that, uh, I'm optimistic. Uh, I think that both parties want this and that is of course the, the, uh, the, the good starting point when you discuss uh, FGAs. I think that connectivity is, is, uh, is key. I think that uh, both Europe and India uh, has something uh, to bring to the table. Uh, I think that we have a lot of knowledge about technologies and we, have, we share the same values, the same goals. Uh, and the Indians of course also have a, a very wide range of, of technologies and, and knowledge about these technologies. So when it comes to, to the digital improvements, uh, the way that we can actually connect uh, as, uh, as uh, two parties, I think we, we have a very good starting point also. Of course, we have uh, issues about legislation, about uh, how, uh, in concrete terms, to cooperate more. But I think this is workable, this is doable. Uh, so I have also high expectations when it comes to this connectivity part. So I think that we will uh, also achieve something with it maybe one or two years. Yeah, uh, I think that it, 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 it doesn't take that much of, uh, of uh, intellectual capacity to see that the uh, Indo-Pacific area is, uh, is a region where a lot of things are happening right now. We have a, we have a lot of, of Chinese involvement. Uh, so what we need is, of course, for democracies in the world, that's to say the European countries and India, to come together uh, also with the US in order to avoid that the Chinese are sort of, uh, so, so to say, take over the whole uh, Indo-Pacific uh, area, which is unfortunately seems to be happening right now if we don't do anything. So I think uh, this Indo-Pacific strategy is key also uh, if you want uh, democratic development in the world. 
I think it's a very good time for India to take over this presidency. I think the timing is right. I think that the world now is facing very, very huge uh, obstacles, very, a few, uh, uh, quite a few problems, uh, so on challenges. So we need uh, big democracies and big countries uh, to take over this process. And I think India is, is uh, by far the best to do it. Since India is, is both facing the, uh, the West and the South, uh, so India can be the bridge uh, in which we, uh, we will see some, uh, some advantages in this process. Uh, it's not an easy job. Uh, within the D20, we also have big differences and, and issues not solved. So uh, it's not, uh, it's not uh, an easy task. Uh, we can't expect uh, we had to be lucky in order to expect uh, huge results here, I think. But on the other hand, if, if anyone can do it, India will be the one. Uh, very well, I think. Actually, I'm here, uh, accidentally, I'm here with the, also when the Danish delegation, my, my home country, Denmark, the Danish delegation uh, is here uh, to actually explore it and to develop uh, a green tech and to, to do something to, with water improvement. Uh, and I think that there's a lot to do, and I think that Denmark has a lot of experience in these matters. So it's, it's, it seems to be a quite a successful uh, cooperation we are, we, are, we are building up. Just to give you one example, uh, now that we have 36 very important Danish companies uh, working uh, in India, and I think that the, the Danish foreign minister and the crown prince of Denmark and his wife, uh, they are here uh, to, to, uh, to, to, to be shown this. Uh, and, and to, to notify that this is actually uh, a development that is, is ongoing and, and building up quite successfully. I very much look forward to be here. I have one week and I have a lot, of, a lot to do. So I think that uh, being here physically is very, very important. Uh, I noticed already from, the, from day one when I was elected as chairman that uh, you can do only so much uh, sitting in Brussels. You have to be here, so this is the right thing to do.